the pieces are kind of coming together. You know I flip, so you know you're going to be watching video lectures. You know there's a lot of material. You know you need a textbook and some other stuff. Now, this is what we're doing every week in this class. This piece of paper that's going to come with your syllabus is the guide. Like really, I can envision you going through and like putting a check mark. I've watched the lecture. Awesome. Cha-ching. I looked at the textbook. I know where to go if I have questions. Cha-ching. Oh, we did the lab. All of our labs are on Tuesdays. Awesome. Cha-ching. I did the questions, the lab questions. Awesome. Cha-ching. I did the quiz in lab. Cha-ching. I came to class on Thursday and flipped the lecture, did the, looked at the textbook, and look, here's another quiz that is um, here. Okay, you get the idea. And after six of them, oh, look, we have an exam. The schedule shows you what you need to do at each juncture. And it's the same every week. So once you get into a groove, it's going to, like, you're going to be in a rhythm, and you're going to know what, like, you're not going to be confused for long. You might be confused for a week, but by the second week, you'll see, oh, look, we did this last week. And by the third week, oh, we're, we're rolling. Like, we, you will figure out your um, strategy to do all this stuff. So let's look at the assignments because this thing is not just what days we're going to cover. It also tells you what the assignments are, and so I want to talk to you about that really fast. But before I do that, I also want to show you um, in Canvas. Okay, look. This says Canvas module. Canvas module one is about the process of science. So let's go to Canvas and click on modules. And if you click on that thing, it's going to take you to this, like, whoa. Here's, this is not a numbered module. This is this start here module, which will look like something at some point. Like, it'll even have this lecture in there. Oh, oh, that's cool. But look, here's module one, the process of science. And we have in each module, for each day, this is Tuesday stuff. Here's the video lecture. Awesome. Just go there, watch that thing. I give you access to lecture notes. We have clicker questions every day in class. Awesome, that's easy. Here's the lab materials that you're going to need. I will post the lab handout for on all Tuesdays there will be lab work. And so you'll see the lab handout there. Here are the assignments that you'll get points for in lab. Everything's super clean and easy. Really on your own time, the important things that you need to do, you need to flip. You need to watch the video, take notes. If you do that on your own, and then on Thursday you're going to have a, a quiz, which, oh, it's not published yet. So eventually the, um, you'll have a weekly Canvas quiz, open note, open book, do whatever you want, open internet. Like it's all about you learning. Fantastic. And if you, are comfortable with the canvas scene, you'll be golden. I wanted to show you the syllabus because the syllabus breaks down how you're going to get points for these things. So look at the assessment portion of your syllabus, and you'll see that, number one, I don't accept any late work ever because I can't keep track of it. So I would accept late work because doo-doo happens in life, and I totally get that. But I, when people give me late work, it goes into, you can't see my office, but I really don't want you to see my office because I haven't even been here. It's been Christmas holiday, and it still looks like a freaking bomb went off in here. Someday I'm going to be super organized and clean. Really. I'm going to grow up someday. Now. <laughs> no late work. That was the whole point of that. 5% of your grade you get for showing up and clicking. I am implementing something new this semester. Show up to lecture with your clicker, ready to click in, say whatever you want. My goal is to find out what you know and what you don't know. But I am going to do pop quizzes at the beginning of lecture 
to encourage people to show up on time and to also make sure that people are flipping the content. The pop quizzes, if you flipped, the pop quizzes will be easy. They are open note. So if you take good notes, you absolutely can use them during the pop quizzes. But um, it, it, the goal is to just motivate you to come to class prepared. This external brain, I'm going to spend the whole next section talking about it, but it is 10% of your grade. It's, um, you'll like the external brain. Every week you got online quizzes, 15% of your grade. Use whatever notes, whatever books, whatever internet sites, whatever, use whatever you want to, except for each other, like do them on your own. Um, and you can actually take them twice and I'll take the highest score. So the goal with the online quizzes is to get you interacting and studying the material. Labs, there's several things that will happen during lab, and um, that is going to be 20% of your grade. So showing up, doing the lab work, answering the questions in the handout, all that stuff will end up being 20% of your grade. And there will be a quiz at the end of every um, lab session, and that quiz will count. Like you have to get the answers correct in order for, um, to get all the points on, on those quizzes during lab. And then exams. I am exam rich, which means I give you a lot of them. In fact, you'll have five over the course of the semester, and they're half your grade. Uh, when you get into anatomy, it's 70% of your grade, so don't have any hyperventilating about the fact that exams are 50% of your grade. That seems like a low number to me. Four midterms throughout the semester. Each one has about six um, lectures, six concepts on the exam, and then I give you a comprehensive final exam. The awesome thing about the comprehensive final is that's one of the biggest places where redemption is built into the course. So comprehensive final exam, if you score higher on that thing than you did on any of the midterms, I'll replace your midterm with that final exam score. That assumes that you get, um, you have to get, oh, I wonder if I said any rules. Ah, oh, look, I did. So I made a new rule on this replacement policy. You have to earn at least a 60% on the midterm in order to get it replaced. I don't know how I feel about that rule. It's in the syllabus, so I guess that means I can do it, but that rule might not stick. What you can't do is skip a midterm. So if you show up and get like 30% on a midterm, I'm probably going to be like, yeah, that was a waste of my time, and I'm not letting you replace that one. So um, it, as long as, like if you're conscious and you're studying, you're going to get at least 50% on an exam. Like you won't score lower than that on an exam. And then if you keep working on the content, you can replace your lowest exam. I've had people literally jump two letters because of that final exam replacement option. So um, that's, that's a pretty sweet deal. It does count as an exam. So really you do have five exams, but your final, if it's better, like if it's good, it can actually count twice, but only if it's good. So it doesn't hurt you. Okay. Shall we talk about the external brain? Because that is something that it's actually super straightforward, but sometimes people get a little hyperventilating about it. Okay, don't hyperventilate.